Okay, I should have started this video yesterday when I started tearing this RXV apart. Yesterday, before I started, it had this body on it. So I've already pulled the rear body, those parts, and the front body off, okay? So this is what it looks like after you get the body off of it. The reason I'm showing you this is because I'm getting ready to put turn signals on this while I have it apart and I wanted to show you a few things in case you've never seen one looking on the front of it this bundle of wires right here is factory okay these are already installed in every cart what they're going to is the key switch and the harness in case you're going to add the uh, battery meter on it so that's stock this other, the gray black tubing you see, this is a light kit that is we installed a while back for headlights and tail lights. Now, you can see, since the body's off of this thing, you see all these wires, this bundle of wires that wrap around. You usually can't see them, but they lay in front of these batteries. This right here is the, on the early RXVs, is where we have the most problems because they used a cheap Chinese insulation on the wires. And what happens, the batteries corrode for too much water. It rolls down the side of the batteries, gets on this wire, permeates the, uh, the coating on it and causes resistance and that's what shuts these carts down the two biggest things we have found on these earlier rxvs this is an 09 right here is this wiring if it gets uh, once corrosion gets in there it creates all kinds of problems and you're chasing gremlins all the time the other thing is if you have one of these something you might want to check because almost every one we see you see the three phase wires that go to the motor. They're in this harness right here. Well, they never tie them up. Let me see if you can see. And right here, almost everyone I see rub, they rub a hole in this harness. And eventually, let me get on the other side and see if we can see. Yeah, see, see where it rubs a hole in this? and usually starts on the insulation of the wire. And matter of fact, you can see where it's already been rubbing on the metal here. And it's raw metal. And pretty soon, this cuts into here and takes out your controller. But the way they do this at the factory, it's always laying right up against this piece of metal. So take and tie wrap this thing over against, away from here, get it over here. You're asking for trouble if you don't do that. So I wanted to show you that. And the other thing I wanted to show you was where these wires, as a the bundle, they go underneath the floor. Actually, let me lift it up. Up the floor mat, see? And there's a groove in there. There's a trap door down there. And the other end of these come out up underneath this um, console. Um, I have to take this off. I have to take the floor mat out to show you, but I just wanted to uh, show you this wiring. Now, to get this console off, you need a long 10 millimeter socket. You see these three indents for balls one, two, and this one. Right underneath there is a 10 millimeter nut. Well, it's a nut that takes a 10 millimeter socket. Just hand tight. There it is. That's what it looks like. You take that one off. You reach under. You take this one off. I'm trying to hold the camera and be a left hand mechanic sucks. Okay, there's that one. And there's going to be one more behind here. That's how you get access 
because you need to get this console off so I can fish the wire. So there's the three nuts I took off. And this thing, after you get those off, just pulls up. Let me see if I can do it without spilling all these bolts and stuff I got. See how this just popped up loose right there? Now this side's going to pop up loose. There we go. See what it looks like? And we're going to take this completely out. Show you what it looks like. Out. This is where it was. Now these wires, see where the wires are coming up out of the floor through this rabbit hole right here. So this connector right here is your run plug. Let me get underneath there. This is the other end of it. That's your, your cart will not run if that is not plugged in. A lot of problems sometimes can be solved by checking that run plug. Okay. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull the floor mat up. There's about seven of these uh, Christmas tree fasteners. There's a couple of them down between the pedals. See them there. They're up there. One there. So I need to pull those out to get the floor mat up. Um, this is a tool I'm going to use to do it. It's a simple little pry bar. We've got a better uh, door panel remover that works, but uh, it's not here right now. So I'm going to pop these off with this and matter of fact let me see if I can do one left-handed and show you see how it just goes underneath there and I just wiggle it there. got it out see that's what it looks like all right so let me pop these out and pull the floor mat off okay I got the little Christmas tree fasteners out now I'm gonna pull the mat off um, I wanted to show you the way the cutouts are. We're going to be able to pull this mat up and get it up and over. Oh, there. We're going to be able to get it up and over the brake pedal. But we got to turn the mat 90 degrees to get it over that pedal without ripping it. So let me see if I can do that. Okay, I got the mat off. See what it looks like now we need to get that panel off right there you can see there's four Christmas tree fasteners on that also one two three one over there so we're going to undo that there's a little rubber collar around this usually it's stapled here I break the staples loose, turn this thing sideways so you can get it off. See if I can do it this. See how it's sideways? Then I can pull it up and over and off. This is what it looks like without it. So now I'm getting my tool out and pop those four. All right, I've got those out. I'm getting ready to put my finger in here and remove this. This gives us access to the pedals. See how dirty and nasty it is down in there? You can see the uh, sensors, both brake and accelerator sensors. You can see the switches, brake switch. There's one down there for the accelerator. Anyway, you need to clean that out once in a while because it gets all the dirt and debris and sand in there. And sometimes it doesn't allow your pedals to come all the way back, which causes all kinds of issues. Okay, this is our um, light kit, Deluxe. RXV LED Deluxe Light Kit. Deluxe meaning has train signals and everything in here. Wine harness, tail lights, horn, and the turn signals. This is what we're going to be installing on here. Okay. Okay, I've got the turn signal assembly mounted. There's uh, one 
screw on there you can see it right there not very but that's just clamps it's just a big hose clamp that's what holds these things on there um, another thing I always put these at an angle I don't know if you can see it yeah see how it's kind of pointed upwards a little bit that's for two reasons one you, a lot of people hit it with their knee when they climb in here and this horn button on the end breaks off and when this breaks you're screwed you can't replace this you gotta do the whole thing and I had somebody whose big ass dog jumped up in the golf cart this was lower hit that broke the horn off and it was just hanging so I always kind of put this up at an angle on a purpose now that we got that mounted I wanted to show you the wire the other end of the, the harness where it's got the flasher and the plug now what we got to do with this on an RXV we've got to get this threaded underneath here into this area it's got to come out in here and if you look there's a very little tiny place right here just very little but you with a little work you can lift this up you can get it in here I just sometimes even notch this plastic down a little bit because it's covered right here with uh, with the uh, console that we took out but anyway I'm gonna turn this off pull the uh, flasher out of the unit and I'm gonna try to thread it underneath there and into this area okay I've got this thing tucked down there's a little notch in the steel I've got this laying there you can see it so I've got laying in the notch threaded through there through that little opening laying inside the console area where I'll plug the flasher back in and where this is going to hook into our wiring harness okay so next it looks like I've got to run that wiring harness okay this is the wiring harness that comes with this RXV kit got the light switch this is the brake timer the brake light timer so it goes off got a breaker on it this this bracket here has a switch on it let me show you where it goes this is the brake pedal and you see this bracket right here this comes off okay we're gonna take these uh, screws loose pull this off throw it away and this new piece mounts there and it's got a switch on it so let me see if I can do it okay I opened up this where is it now this part this is what I wanted to show you part of this wiring harness this is what this thing looks like see it mounts like this so we're going to take these two screws off this one and this one this cap screw which is always fun and then we're going to remount this there because it's got the switch on it okay I laid the I laid the wiring harness on the floor just to give you an idea the way it goes in way down here at the back end those two long ones go to the tail lights this crap here goes in the brake area which I showed you there's a light switch and all of this stuff goes into the front up here so I'm going to string this through here and actually I got to remove the old existing harness that I showed you earlier this this is just a generic headlight and tail light harness there's not enough wires in there for the turn signal so I got to remove that and install this one in its place okay I got that bracket off of there see the four turn it this way four screws I took out in that bracket now this just kind of flops what we're going to do we're going to take this bracket now 
this bracket. We're going to mount it there. We're going to push the pedal back like that and we're going to mount it on those four holes. Okay. Just finished putting this bracket on. The two um, bolts, truss heads, that's 10 millimeter. This other cap screw, I have a bit set, it said H6, that's what I use on there, then I tighten them with channel locks. But anyway, see now, it stops. The brake pedal, when it stops, it's got a switch there that it actuates. This is a breaker, so when we get all done, all this will be sitting down in there after I get the harness laid down in the channel it'll be tie wrapped and nice and neat so while I got this open though I'm gonna spray try to lube some of that stuff because who knows how long before this thing's ever opened up again okay I just got done with the harness stringing it let me get over on this side Probably hard to see, but I've it's that new one looking coming from this black one. This is the new harness. So I've got it taped to the existing wires underneath the floor coming up through here. So the black, see, this is in the harness. This um, 12 pin, no, 9 pin is going to connect to this 9 pin, and that'll be the turn signals. This is your relay. We'll attach that up here so it's not rattling around. The uh, I put a new battery gauge in while I had this. This is not a factory RXV battery gauge. Those are not that accurate. This one, I'm hardwiring all the way back um, around the controller. So that's what you see. These three wires here, the yellow, black, and orange. The black is my ground, which will be going to my 48 volt battery ground. The, uh, crap, I forgot already, let's look. <laughs> okay, the yellow is the uh, 48 volt hot. The orange is gonna be the keyed, the keyed um, wire. So on an RXV, my ground will be going to the main battery negative. Over here, you attach to the solenoid, not to anything else on an RXV, okay? So I will be landing my two wires on these two big solenoid wires. The, uh, the one that comes straight from the batteries, the main positive, which I have disconnected, which is right here, it's 48 volts. The other side, when it's switched on, this is where I'll be attaching to. Okay? So anyway, uh, I went ahead and strung the tail light whips therein. Um, over here, I kind of secured the, uh, the brake timer with a tie wrap for now. And we still have our main wires 12 volts lay in here. Now, you can, most people mount those. I shouldn't say most people. A lot of people mount them to this battery because that's where they are. They get their 12 volts off of here. That is not the best thing to do because that battery then is getting used more than the other three. And there's a good possibility that that battery is going to fail before the other three do. So the best thing you can do is wire that through a voltage reducer, a 48 to 12 volt voltage reducer, which we probably will do. So I just wanted to lay that out there. It will work on the one battery. It's just not the best thing, especially on this uh, computerized wiring system. So that's it for the wiring harness on this RXV. Like I said, this is an 09, so Oh, I mounted the horn too. I just, I mounted it under here instead of down underneath where it's going to get dirty. And uh, that's it for now. Go ahead and contact us and 
hopefully subscribe to our channel because we're planning on throwing a lot of videos out there, um, mainly just to help do-it-yourselfers because I learned pretty much I, everything I had on the learn on the internet, so the, hopefully I can help you. Thank <laughs> you.